So uh, this is a real pleasure for me. Uh, I am speaking right now uh, to the, the, the duo of Il Volo. We're, we're missing one. Um, they, they don't have any major news to announce, I don't think. I think Ignacio is going to be here shortly. Uh, but uh, yeah, guys, uh, thank you so much for uh, have, giving me an opportunity to, to chat with you today. It's our pleasure because, you know, we, we love um, America, we love Detroit. And also when we talk, when we talk about Detroit, we talk our, about our beginning because everything right. started from Detroit because our first PBS special, we, we recorded at the Detroit Opera House. So every time we go back there, we feel like home because they treat us like home. That is so cool to hear. Uh, do you guys feel anything special when you, when you, you know, do you feel like when you come to Detroit that you're going to feel that, uh, you know, like, wow, this is come full circle. I, we wait for Ignacio. We wait for Ignacio. I'm because, here. I'm here. Yeah. We can see you. <laughs> I know because I'm special. Just a second. <laughs> okay. Well, of course, Detroit is pure. Uh, I, I uh, clock. Okay, is, here it is. is. Is this normal? Is Ignacio usually coming in late to everything, or is this is this normal? Everything. No, I mean, I, I'm so everything. sorry. Oh no, no, totally great. Uh, I, they were just telling me about how I was asking about how you know it must feel like it's coming full circle. The fact that you guys started off with the PBS special in Detroit, and you guys are going to be back there on September the 10th at Fox Theater. Uh, so just wanted, you know, are you guys going to feel anything a little bit more special, you think, than other other gigs that you're going to be playing? Well, I still remember the first time I, uh, we performed at the Fox, uh, the Fox Theater. Uh, I think Detroit has the best theaters in the whole world because Detroit Opera House and Fox Theater are amazing places to, to have a show and concert and to sing. The acoustic, it's, it's incredible. Uh, right. you know, yeah, and it's a it's it's beautiful historical place, and for for us it's we, it's a privilege to to perform and uh, and make our music and sing in those wonderful places. And Detroit is in our heart because everything started from from there, as Piero said before. I feel like an honorary member. I like that we're all in the four Zoom boxes. I feel like I'm an honorary member uh i i my, i'm actually uh -huh. my i'm italian too i'm uh my last name is santilli my grandfather was from the abruzzo region i'm from abruzzo is, are you really oh. okay uh, yeah the town is called se Gennaro. i don't know if you're familiar or know where that is se Gennaro. yeah se Gennaro. yeah there's a there's a school there that's named after my grandfather uh but yeah anyway so uh, a lot of my the people when my fan base and stuff when they heard i was going to be talking with you all one of the questions that came up um, was how, after all this time of being together as a group, um, how have you guys been able to stay together? You know, a lot of, a lot yeah. of groups we see kind of part and fracture and have infighting. Uh, tell me a little bit about how you guys work together. Yeah. I mean, it's at the beginning was, uh, was like a normal friendship. And uh, during the years, our, our, our relation has, has I mean, has grown. And uh, we can say that we are like three brothers now because we, we spend more time uh, together than, than, uh, than our families. Mm -hmm. so, so, I mean, uh, of course, it's not easy sometimes because we have three dis different ways to think, uh, three different tastes. And so sometimes we, we discuss a little bit about tasty songs uh, or, I mean, uh, different ideas. But I mean, we are mature, we've grown together, uh, we've been together for 13 years, so we really know each other. And, uh, and of course, I think the most important thing that, that really helped us is do the best for the group. I mean, the group is the priority and do the best for the, for the group is, is, is the key to keep our relation very strong uh, I mean, I think is is our strength. But you know, like a marriage, you know, the the most successful moments and happiest moments, it's always easy to handle situations. But when you have uh, tough moments, very difficult moments through the years of your career of your marriage, we can say that is because it's like a marriage. Mm -hmm. um, is there when you when you have to be mature enough to, to talk? to have conversations, to see it and look in our eyes and see what's the best for the group. That's great. Uh, 
and if you don't mind me asking, you know, more specifically, um, and maybe you can all take turns, maybe just saying something, uh, what, what is a quality that you, what is a quality about one of the other people in your group that you, that you really admire or you, that you think brings to the group? Okay. Let me say that, um, Ignacio stage brings brightness. Like I can imagine a show without him because he brings the smile, he brings joy, right? And uh, Gianluca, he's the one who always keep you up updated with the new songs, new artists coming out. He's always looking for new songs, new general, and it's very curious about what uh, on the next songs and and all the all the new artists and uh, and songs. Yeah, I'm gonna make that they have to talk about me. Yeah, I mean, we <laughs> had the the, 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 the the we've been not lucky to have Pierre in the group, so now we. But uh, <laughs> now I mean, Piero is really focused on the work. He's really focused on responsibilities, and uh, I mean, we are like a machine. And we can say he's the, the engine of the machine. Uh, I can say, I mean, we are different part of the machine. And you so- You know what? When something comes up like an idea or something to solve, a problem to solve, each one of us knows deeply who can solve the problem. Yes. So if, if something that he talks about recording session, Ignacio is the one who can solve the problem. If it's something different, me or Jaluka can solve the problem. So we know each other, we can do the best. That's great. Uh, Gianluca, maybe I'll ask you this question. Uh, what is something, what's some advice you would tell your younger self or what would you tell Il Volo from 10, 12 years ago? What's, what, what's something that you wish you would have known at the beginning of your journey uh, that might've been helpful now? <clears throat> well, um... What I always thought about myself, and the guys know this really well, is that we changed a lot. But I always kept my uh, the focus on uh, surprise myself and trying new things, even though it takes many risks. You know, because sometimes if you are in a stuck in a situation that doesn't give you any kind any chance of growing as a successful group or something like this to always have many, many ideas and focus on what's the best for the group, of course. And sometimes in the past, I used to be really a euphoric, you know? <laughs> but at the same time, sometimes was the best idea or sometimes was a bad idea, but you have to try always. Sure. So I probably didn't change a lot, but I would say to my younger myself, you know, to probably just do what you what we what makes you really happy and, and yeah. you know that's the, the point yeah sure you know i would say i would say nothing because uh i mean i would say nothing because we 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 lived everything 100 percent. we never lived something 80 percent. so we have nothing to regret and we made many <laughs> mistakes we made many of we, course we, made, we lived many successful years but we made mistakes as all the artists you know because that's normal you you, you know it's a, it's like a blackjack you know like poker yeah. you, you never know what can happen you know so you are 50 50 50 you know but that's yeah, normal but can i say just a thing the last yeah. thing i think from mistake from mistakes you can learn a lot sure absolutely. and this is really important absolutely um, let's talk again real quick too. Um, I know I only have a, a couple more minutes with you guys, but uh, I wanted to ask you to talk a little bit more about, you know, Detroit. I know in the beginning, uh, you know, before Ignacio joined us, we were kind of talking about uh, the great acoustics in Detroit and, and coming full circle in Detroit. Uh, but tell people that maybe uh, who even have heard about you, they see that you're coming to the Fox Theater on September the 10th, and maybe they've kind of heard about you or, or maybe seen you here and there. Uh, what are they in store for? Uh, what what do, what are people in store for when they go to an Ilvo concert? So Detroit, as we said before, we we feel like home when we're in Detroit. We have a huge fan base in, over there, and we have to say thanks to them for this support and this love they gave us in these thirteen years. For people who doesn't know Ilvo, 
I like to say that we are keeping and following the steps or what, what Pavarotti in the past have done, Bocelli and other artists. So what we do is sing uh, the Italian culture, the Italian melodies, and also the American standards. And uh, we love and we like our goal is to bring this genre to every single, every generation, but to let the people feel for one night in Italy. We know how the, the people in Detroit love Italians. And uh, in that night, we want them to feel for one night in Italy. Because a person told me in Detroit, the dream for every single person on this planet is to plan a trip to Italy. <laughs> but now it's Italy coming to Detroit. But you know, the point is that the past always come back. Oh, and especially in, in the music, as you can see, the weekend doing a, a CD inspiring himself to Prince or Michael Jackson, like Harry Styles doing an album inspiring himself to David Bowie and many other artists. Artists, and, and Michael Bublé, they used to sing song of, songs of Elvis, Elvis Presley, uh, Frank Sinatra, and this is what we do. Um, everything comes back, and this is what we are. We are the first uh, group um, of young. Um, so with such a young age bringing this music to also to the young generation but also to the people that used to listen Bocelli, Pavarotti, Frank Sinatra because our repertoire is really um, we sing really the, it's a crossover it's not just opera yeah. uh, that's why we would like to bring uh, our culture through our voices the concert we will perform songs of our latest album which is a tribute to Maestro Ennio Morricone but also the tribute to the three tenors, our own songs, because we have our own repertoire. And it's a beautiful journey that we want to live with all our fans in Detroit that night. And we can't wait. And, and, and of course, as we do in every concert, we try to let the people see, notice, and understand yeah. that we really love what we are doing. So we, we, we feel, we, we get emotion, we get, we, we get really fun. It's gonna be really fun in the concert. So we're gonna laugh, we're gonna cry. I mean, uh, what more could you ask bunch for? Of, bunch of stuff. <laughs> Tom, will, will you be there? We are waiting for you. We will be oh, oh my God, I wanna come, I wanna come so bad. Well, th that's what I wanted to close on is uh, my, my last thing that I wanted to say to you guys is um, I've always admired you guys, uh, always. I want to say that uh, my mom uh, is actually a huge fan. When she heard I had an opportunity to speak with you three, she's like, "Where, when, and where, and how can I be there?" And uh -huh. you, you better not pass this up. Um, my mother actually is a cancer survivor. She's survived two brain tumors. Wow. Uh, she, her name is my Sybil. mom too. Yeah, my oh, mom for real. Too. No, no. My way. mom too. Wow, that's amazing. Her name is Sybil, and her birthday is actually this Saturday as well. Would Would Il Volo mind? doing me the honor of just telling my mother happy birthday please happy birthday mommy tom, tom for us it's a pleasure to invite you and your mom to our show just let us know uh, with barbara i mean we can arrange arrange some tickets for you oh my goodness i would you'll i would be, go in a heartbeat yeah absolutely you'll be our guest. You'll be our wow guest. she uh she's in a wheelchair if it's a handicap oh my god i i would totally totally Thank go i just feel like i won a contest or something <laughs> sure, let us know. It'll be a pleasure to meet you right after the show because we have meet and greets with our oh fans. Oh my goodness! Can... Oh my goodness! It's a that, pleasure. That you, you guys are so. You guys live up to everything I've heard about you, and uh, I wish you the best of the luck. And I am. I'm going, so I'll meet you in person uh, soon enough. And thank you Grazie. so so much for your Grazie generosity. Tom. All right, take it easy, everybody. We'll we'll talk next time. Tom. Happy birthday to your mom. <laughs> awesome. Thank you.